Intel you brought back says there's hostiles stockpiling guns down in the tunnels. We can't bring them back, so you get to do the next best thing. Destroy them. What's up guys? Craze back again. Today I'm going to be playing The Division. Have you guys ever played The Division? Now, I've had it on my channel a couple of times. I don't know if uh, you guys have actually ever played it. To me, it's actually just an incredibly fun little game. Uh, it's If you've played Destiny or something like Destiny, uh, it's very similar in that aspect where it's just a looter shooter. Uh, so you run around, you, you complete these dungeons or instances or strikes or whatever you want to call them, doesn't matter. And you get these, uh, get to pick up loot. Um, so that is actually a really fun little thing to do. And th I'm actually playing, this is like one of the, uh, uh, what is this, one of the world events that they had going on. It's called uh, Strike, I believe. And every time you kill an enemy, they explode. Uh, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> Especially if you get a group of them together and they just start exploding on each other. It's really kind of fun to do. Ooh. Ouch. I think a little trip mine there. Something. But this is what uh, is called the undergrounds. Uh, and I would love to see this implemented more in the future in other games. Because this is a completely random dungeon. You go into it. You set up specific uh, things that you want uh, for... Kind of like skulls in Halo. It gives you added difficulty, and you go in there, and based on the amount of skulls, or I'm a, I'm calling them skulls, but it's not actual skulls. It's like uh, just just uh, problem creators. <laughs> it, it gives you a harder problem. One of the things I'm running now is electronics. So every time I cast or cast out one of my electronics things, it will uh, uh, mess up my radar, so I can't see anything. So that's kind of neat. And the more difficult the dungeon is, of course, the higher uh, the rewards are. And very specific rewards, such as, uh, you know, masks and stuff like that, can only be unlocked during these uh, uh, world events and stuff like that. So it's kind of really cool. Um, I really enjoy that. If you like Destiny at all, and I'm just going to have to, I can't figure out. There we go. There we go. Now I can walk. <laughs> I was a little worried there. I was going to just run through it. And, uh, but the better rewards you get, the better gear. And it took me a while to figure this out, and which is kind of sad. Oh, we got a jammer going on in the area. Uh, so I had to take that out. So one of the, the things that was kind of sad about is I went and... Uh, was playing and I was like, well, I got like the top gear set. I mean, I was like 280, 284, whatever the top gear. It's really was not finding a whole lot uh, higher than that. And even other players had about that type of gear set. And then I realized, hey, there's actual uh, gear sets in this area. And what that means is uh, it gives you added bonuses and stuff like that. And then the one I'm running right now, I think it's Alpha Bridge. Which actually uh, allows me to use like three uh, loadouts or three attachments to my weapons, which is really nice to have, and it regenerates my health a lot quicker. Uh, so, but there is quite a few, quite a few different loadout or gear sets. You have to get a certain amount on each. I think like f at least four of the gear sets. They start getting bonuses from them. Uh, so, it's just really opened up that is like man there is a lot to get in this there's just even after all this time there's just stuff to get and then i've been working on it i've been working on my gear sets and getting upgrades to the gear sets because the gear set i have uh definitely is not maxed out uh, so i'm trying to find and, and run that and get uh, the better stuff and hello hello i'm gonna sneak up to you no there you go just shoot you in the face. That's what we do. If you're a Halo player, yeah, shoot him in the face. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that just added so much more to do. And, and I love this stuff. And they added a survival mode. You guys remember Firefight? Yeah, a survival mode, which is really kind of cool. Because you go in there, and I, I showcased a little bit this before, I think. Uh, the survival mode. 
you can go in there and you and however many friends and it gives you a certain little objectives uh, to complete like just survive or then go download the data uh, I don't know how far it goes I really don't how many waves uh, if you are familiar with uh, what was it Gears of War that gave you 50 waves to get through and I'm not really sure uh, I've only played it a few times and I only had one person with me when I did and it'd be really nice to have a full team and just to see how far we can go uh, and play that so absolutely there's just so much to do just so much to do and it's just really fun to do and get the better gear and get the better um, <laughs> better looking stuff as I'm unlocking uh, one of my uh, the cosmetic stuff that makes you look pretty I'm pretty gotta be pretty if you're gonna do some killing you gotta look good it's just the way it is uh, one of the things I absolutely loved in the division is just the lighting the lighting is absolutely amazing and I'm just gonna run through the fire <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to get through so I'm just gonna run through it sometimes just take that little hit there we go. And the, the lighting is absolutely amazing. I would love to see it even expanded upon more in Division 2, especially with Xbox One X, uh, to see what they can do with it. Let's see. As you can tell here are the enemies, um, there's different grades of enemies. Like red is like the, the pretty much the weakest, uh, the, the bars above their head. And then this guy, it's like this guy, He's, he had a red bar, so you could just shoot him pretty easily, take him out. Uh, the purple is like the next higher. Uh, they're uh, fairly difficult to take out. Um, they have quite a bit of life. Uh, sometimes they do have a bit more uh, powerful weapons. But the yellows, the yellows, those are the pains in the butts. Just trying to take those guys out. Uh, they have a lot of health. And sometimes they come around and they got some incredibly powerful weapons. So they just take you out. And this guy is really becoming a problem I need to hide I just unfortunately I just use like my emergency uh, heal so and that's one of the other thing I like about this is that there is kind of you can do some some different roles when you're playing uh, you can bring out a shield and you kind of push forward in front of your friends and they can help shoot uh, and kind of protect them uh, you can do uh, uh, more of a healing role. You can uh, throw down heals on, on your teammates as well as yourself. Uh, so this guy is being a pain. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. Come on. Come on. I'm going to sneak around. See if I can't get a better angle on him. But one of the... It's just so fun to do. Especially if you're playing with, with friends. And trying to coordinate your attacks on, on enemies. Because they do keep coming out, and they are very strong. Uh, but when you do succeed, there, gotcha. Oop. Somebody threw something at me. And when you do succeed, it is actually extremely, extremely satisfying, which is really nice. It really is. And then that's the biggest part on that, is this stuff is satisfying to do. And when you do complete this stuff, and that's what I really hope you guys take away from that. Or if you haven't played it already, check it out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think it's like free to play or anything. It's not even on uh, Game Pass. But no, nope, looks like I actually failed that mission. I think uh, some, I ran out of time or something. Well, that kind of sucks. I got to go in there and kind of do it again. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Let's see what we can't do. Oh yeah, I think I did. I think I did ran out of time or something. And it exploded and we got deaded. Run through the fire! Run! Remember in uh, uh, World of Warcraft, stay out of the fire? Oh no, no. We, we just gonna go right through it. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Let's do this! Hey man, I see it coming. The crazed is coming. And just wait till I get my friends, and we're going to rock this joint. There we go. As you see, the red guys are pretty easy. Pretty easy to take out. And I'm actually running uh, now. I think I'm running with like a couple sniper rifles. Um, so that's kind of interesting to play. 
it's really nice when they stay back and you can shoot them from a distance oh yeah and headshots headshots are satisfying <laughs> when you do get a headshot and take them out especially if you take them out in one shot that is so satisfying uh oh I'm like pinned I'm uh, pinched uh, there's that weapon cache I need to take care of can I survive I am so weak so weak so weak so weak oh um, as you tell, well, I got a red screen. That's usually not good. That's not good in any way. Yeah. Let my health come back. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Where's where's he at? There. I'm gonna destroy that right now. The objective is complete. Yes. Now I just gotta take out dude, and I'll be all right. All right, there he is, there he is. Oh, oh, get behind the wall. There is one, you know, the kind of frustrating thing is that some of the stuff that uh, you would like to be interactive, it just isn't. Uh, unfortunately, you don't know that until you get there. <laughs> Hide, I'm hiding. And there we go, there we go. One of the fun things too is also is when they throw a grenade at you and you like shoot them in the head or shoot them and then they drop the grenade at their own feet. That's kind of fun. There we go. And that is an undergrounds mission. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I tell you what, this is pretty basic mission. Um, uh, there is definitely higher levels, which I would really need to have uh, more players because I did try. I did try to do some higher levels, but I just got nope <laughs> i just got destroyed but uh hopefully you guys check this out and hopefully i'll get some game uh, a little bit more game time with people playing that would just be amazing but thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoy the division i uh, hope you, if you're like me you can't wait for e3 to see what the division 2 has in store uh, i'll be looking forward to that all right thanks this is crazed i'm out of here